Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Chowdhury. I am CEO and founder of Learnomate Technologies. This is a clip from my paid class and I hope you will find this very very useful. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush Chowdhury and today we are going to learn about the architecture of PostgreSQL logical replication. So again, we know that how and why we are using the replications because in case of disaster, if something went wrong to my primary database, so I have a standby database where my replica is available. But this is something different in logical replication. So in logical replication, I'm considering that this is my primary. Okay. And this is my standby. Okay. So I'm considering that this is my standby server. Okay. So in physical replication, what will happen? Everything will be copied from your primary to standby. Like it will be a block to block. Whatever changes you are doing here, whatever changes you are doing here, everything will be replicated on the standby. But in logical replication, you can define that what are all tables you want to replicate. So let's take an example. I created some table here. I'm just assuming that I have created some table here, T1 and T2. And I just want to replicate these two tables. So what we will do, we are going to create a, what we are going to create? We are going to create a publisher. What we called it as a, this node, we called it as a publisher. So this logical replication is based on the concept called pub sub. What we called it as a publication and subscriber. What we called it as a publication and subscriber. So this is my primary server on which you, are, you we called it as a publisher on which we are going to create a publication. What we are going to do? We are going to create publication for these two tables. So this is a table number one. And for this table number two, I'm going to create a publication on the master side or, or we call it as a primary side also. So remember one thing that this is a publisher node on which we are going to create a publication for this two table. But I want to replicate this two table from primary to standby. What I want to do, I want to replicate this two table from primary to standby. So, so how it is happening, how it is happening. So on the standby side or which is my slave machine, you can have multiple slave machine on this side. We, we are going to create what we are going to create. So here we are going to create subscription. What we are going to create? subscription and this node on which or uh, this standby node we called it as a subscriber what we called it as a subscriber so this is a publisher and this is a subscriber publisher is on the primary side master side subscription or subscriber is available on the standby side or slave side now for this two table this subscription is going to subscribe it means if i created a subscription if i created a subscription for this publication okay for this publication then these two table will be replicated over here remember one thing that we are going to create a, a we are going to create a publication for this two table and for this two table the subscription will be created for this for this let's say i'm giving some name let's say i'm giving the name like tbs pub so this subscription will be subscribed to these tbs pub publications and then and only then these two table will be replicated over here you may have a control like you can have a control like what are all things you want to replicate from your master to slave that control you have as a dba you can do that you can divide you can define that configurations in the replications but you might have a questions like in the background, how it is happening, you know, you might have a questions, how this data, I, I understand that, okay, there is a publication, there is a subscription, this publication is basically having a changes, the changes are going to the standby side, and they are going to subscribe that, and they will get it. But how, there should be some background process, right? So let us try to understand about how internally it works. So as soon as you are going to create a publication, as soon as you are going to create a publication, here on your master slide replication 
slot will be getting created automatically. What will be creating created? A replication slot. What does it do? Like whenever you are making changes on the primary, corresponding to that, the wall files will get created, right? Whenever you are making changes to the database, corresponding to that, a transition lock will be getting created. We call it as a wall locks, right? But these wall locks will not be directly sent it to the standby. The way it is created, it is not going to directly send it to the standby. What will happen internally? It will get decode. Decode means it will be converted into the, some different type of language you consider. And then, then on this standby side, on this, then on this, then on this standby side, there will be a concept called logical replication launcher here. Logical replication launcher. What will be there? We call it as a logical replication launcher. So what is the importance of this logical replication launcher? He is mainly responsible to replicate all the changes which are coming from your primary to standby. So whatever changes which are coming from your primary to standby that will be replicated with the help of this logical replication launcher. Remember, logical replication launcher is available on your standby side. This is again a background process. On your standby side, on your primary side, you have a publication which you are going to create. As soon as you create a publication, corresponding replication slot will be getting created. So that changes, which is again your wall files, your wall logs will be decoded and it will be saved and it will be replicated by logical replication launcher. He is responsible for that. So this is a basic overview how your you know logical standby works. Again, we are going to learn about many many things. Uh, and obviously, you might have questions like how you can configure get like you know we can we can see that things practically also. But again, if you are interested, you can just subscribe to this channel and you can join our WhatsApp group also. Still, if you have any questions, queries, anything, or if you are interested for the next video, please mention in the um, comment section as interested. We will definitely create that. At the end, if you are looking for PostgreSQL DBA training, reach out to the LearnMate team. Thanks. I hope you guys have learned something valuable from this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel. You can also contact us for the paid training. You can also comment interested if you want the more video like this.